we can graph quadratics that are written in vertex form, which is a times x minus h squared plus k. An example of this is x minus 3 squared plus 5. However, sometimes quadratics are written in general form, which looks more like ax squared plus bx plus c, an example being x squared minus 3x plus 2. It is possible to transform a quadratic written in general form into vertex form so we can graph it easily. And we'll do that later. But when you only need to figure out the solutions, it's way overkill. And we never want to do more work than we have to. So let's solve it a different way. X intercepts are values where Y equals zero. So we essentially want to solve x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals 0 for x. Because we have an x squared and an x term, it's difficult to do algebra to isolate x. Instead, we want to factor the left side of the equation. Let's find two numbers that multiply to positive 2 and add to negative 3. What about negative 2 and negative 1? Negative 2 times negative 1 equals 2, and negative 2 plus negative 1 equals negative 3. Wonderful. So x squared minus 3x plus 2 factors into x minus 2 times x minus 1. That means that we need to find values of x that will make x minus 2 times x minus 1 equals 0 true. In order for that to happen, x minus 2 needs to equal 0, or x minus 1 needs to equal 0. So x equals 2 and x equals 1 are both our solutions. If we fire up Desmos and look at the graph, we can see that we are correct. By the way, when our quadratic is written as x minus a times x minus b, like x minus 2 times x minus 1, we call that intercept form, because it's very easy to see that the x-intercepts are x equals 2 and x equals 1. Let's do another example. Find the solutions to the quadratic y equals 6x squared plus 11x plus 3. First step, set it equal to 0. This one we need to factor by decomposition. We need to split the x term into two numbers that add to 11 and multiply to 6 times 3 equals 18. Plus 2x and plus 9x will do the trick and give us 6x squared plus 2x plus 9x plus 3. We can take a 2x out of the first half and a 3 out of the second half, giving us 2x times 3x plus 1 plus 3 times 3x plus 1. Then, we take the 3x plus 1 out front, leaving us with 3x plus 1 times 2x plus 3 equals 0. For this to be true, either 3x plus 1 must equal 0, or 2x plus 3 must equal 0. We solve both of these separately and get x equals negative 1 third and x equals negative 3 halves. Let's look at the graph of this function. It seems like we're about right. Good. If you're having trouble following the factoring that I do here, you might want to go back and review some concepts from Unit 3. We want to solve quadratics by factoring when the quadratic is given to us in general form, ax squared plus bx plus c, and the quadratic can be factored, because sometimes they just can't.